at Microsoft, this is the definition for DevOps that we use. You're going to see me use it. You're probably going to see um, Martin use it. It's just our North Star. It's all about delivering value. You notice that this does not have software in the definition at all. The reason that I avoided the word software is because I believe that if I said the word software, I'd only be talking to half the room, the dev side of the room. But this is called DevOps. And another reason I wanted to focus on value and not software is because I meet a lot of organizations and the first question they say to me is, Donovan, why do our dev and our ops teams work against each other? I say, well, how are they incentivized? Like, well, we incentivize the ops teams by keeping the lights on the servers on. I'm like, okay, how do you incentivize the dev teams? By changing the servers as much as they can by adding features. Like, guess what? The easiest way to keep a server's lights on is not to change it. So if you're going to reward me for keeping the lights on on that server, I'm going to do whatever I have to to stop people from changing that server. And if I'm a developer who gets rewarded for adding features, I'm going to do whatever I can to change that server. So we are literally taught to fight against each other because to get the big bonus, we have to do the thing that gets you the smallest bonus. Now, what if instead we changed the conversation and said, hey, ops and dev, you both only get the big bonus if we deliver value to our end users. They're naturally going to work together because that's the only way that they get the big bonus because to deliver value takes dev and ops, great infrastructure and great software, not one or the other, but both. So focusing on value aligns your team on a common goal and it naturally makes them work together. The hardest part of this sentence is people. It should be read and underlined and flashing because you're here, but we invited a lot more people than that are sitting in this room right now. And some of them might have been your peers. So when you leave here, I hope you're excited and pumped up about DevOps and you know what it can do for your company, but you're going to be met by resistance by everyone who is not sitting in here. They're going to keep doing it the exact same way they've always been doing it. And what's really funny is success is the biggest deterrent to implementing DevOps. What I mean by that is if I've gotten successful doing it this old way, I'm the biggest in my industry doing it the old way. If it's not broken, why would I fix it? The reason why is because remember when the first car was getting its tires changed? You heard all those other cars still driving around on the track, just lapping you? That's your competition who's realized that there's a better way of doing this than the way that you're currently doing it right now. So your people have to get on board. Your people have to understand that this is not optional. This is not a nice to have. This is fundamental and required for you to succeed as a company. And when you do, the process and the products, that's the easy part. We already understand Agile and Kanban and Scrum, and we understand that stuff. And products, not only do we have products, but our competitors have products, and most of us are giving it away for free. The process and the products are the easy part. But you've got to get your people to understand that delivering value is the goal. And we're going to talk about that.